Hey everybody, in this video, I will quickly discuss how to fine tune a Llama 2 model on your own private data just with few lines of code. And this script also will be using PEFT, that is parameter efficient training. And uh, with the TRL library and LoRa, that is low rank adaptation, in a very memory efficient manner. And here I will be using the TRL library. And although TRL library is powered by Accelerate, you should run your training script in a single process. So what I mean by that is that you run your Python script uh, like this. You uh, give a path to the example, example Python file, I mean, and then pass all your arguments. And that's all the script that you really need to fine tune on your custom dataset. And what you can of course see that the first thing I'm doing is git cloning this particular GitHub repository and then uh, installing all the libraries pip install dot and then uh, what I'm doing is I'm running a particular script from this uh, repository. So I'm already within this repository at this point and I'm going into the examples directory scripts sfttrainer.py. So if you if you just go to this repository and go to this particular file, you can see all the details there. And then this particular Python script takes quite a few arguments and that's all I'm passing in the next few lines. So let's go over these arguments, what they are. Uh, first of all, let's uh, le let's understand this SFT trainer class that's been used within these uh, files. So uh, it stands for supervised fine tuning trainer. Supervised fine tuning or SFT for short is a crucial step in uh, RLHF. So the TRL library, that is the Transformer Reinforcement Learning Library, provides an easy to use API to create your SFT models and train them with few lines of code on your dataset. And if you have the dataset hosted on the Hugging Face Hub, you can easily fine tune your SFT model using the SFT trainer from TRL. And then let's quickly talk about this library, TRL. So uh, this TRL PEFT library in Hugging Face is a combination of the TRL, that is Transformer Reinforcement Learning Library, and PEFT, that is Parameter Efficient Fine Tuning. Uh, it allows you to train transformer language models with reinforcement learning while also using PEFT to make the training process more memory efficient. It is especially useful for applications where memory or computational resources are limited and includes uh, supports for decoder models such as GPT-2, Bloom, and GPT-Neo, and it can be used to optimize models using proximal policy optimization, uh, that is PPO. So the PIFT library provides a set of methods for efficient adaptation of pre-trained language models, that is PLMs, to various downstream applications. These methods allow you to fine-tune a PLM without fine-tuning all of its parameters, which can save a significant amount of time and resources. And now coming back to our this script, uh, let's uh, go over some of the components of these arguments. So uh, the first one is use PEFT because we just uh, uh, talked about the uh, TRL PEFT library. So let's see what this uh, argument is. So this, uh, this argument controls whether to use PEFT or not to train adapters. Pass your hyperparameters along with use PEFT argument to enable LoRa. So this is the one that is uh, that will control your LoRa. So the use PEFT parameter in Hugging Face allows you to use the parameter efficient fine tuning or PEFT library when fine tuning a model. PEFT is a technique that can help you fine tune a model with uh, fewer parameters, which can save time and resources. And uh, some of the benefits of using use PEFT are uh, reduced number of parameters because PEFT can help you to fine tune a model with fewer parameters. This can save time and resources, especially when you are fine tuning a large model and also improve, uh, improve accuracy. PEFT can uh, improve the accuracy of a model when fine tuned with fewer parameters. This is because PEFT uses a technique called knowledge distillation, which can help the uh, which can help to transfer knowledge from the pre-trained model to the fine-tuned model. But it does not mean that uh, PEFT will or will not have any drawbacks. So some of the drawbacks are that uh, increased training time. PEFT can increase the training time of a model. This is because PEFT needs to train an additional model 
called the distillation model that we just talked about and also reduce flexibility PIFT can reduce the flexibility of a model and this is because PIFT, restrict, uh, PIFT uh, restricts the number of parameters that can be fine-tuned overall the use PIFT is a useful option uh, for fine-tuning models with fewer parameters so uh, definitely you should use it and uh, then the next one is load in 4B. This has become all the uh, more important nowadays and it's all over the news. So th this will control uh, whether the model will be training using 4 bits precision. So the load in 4 bit argument in Hugging Face refers to the uh, ability to load a model in 4 bit precision. This means that the weights and activations of the model are represented using 4 bits instead of the usual 32 bits and this can significantly reduce the memory footprint of the model making it possible to deploy it on devices with limited memory and there are a few things to keep in mind when using 4 bit precision model first the performance of these models may be slightly lower than the performance of models with full precision Second, not all models are available in 4-bit precision. Finally, some operations such as gradient descent may not be supported in 4-bit precision. And also, in my personal experience, I have seen in many situations, sometimes you have to do some code optimization, which are uh, really some non-trivial code optimization while applying, uh, applying this load in 4-bit. Overall, the load in 4-bit is a useful option for reducing the memory footprint of models. However, it is important to be uh, important to be aware of the potential performance and uh, compatibility implications uh, before using it. And to summarize the, this load in 4-bit, the main benefits are reduced memory footprint, uh, then increased speed because 4-bit precision models can uh, can speed up your training by up to 2x. Uh, and this is because the 4-bit operations are simpler and can be implemented more efficiently in hardware. And some of the drawbacks are that 4-bit precision is a trade-off between memory and accuracy. If you need to reduce the memory footprint of your models, then 4-bit precision is a good option. However, if you need, uh, need the highest possible accuracy and performance in terms of uh, the prediction accuracy, then you may want to use full precision models instead of 4-bit. So these were the main parameters in this script. Otherwise, the other parameters are so obvious. Uh, for model name, I'm just passing the specific model name here, which is uh, here I'm using the smallest one among the three Llama 2 models, which is a 7 billion parameter HF model. And dataset name, this is where you can mention your custom dataset. And this particular dataset, OpenSSTN Guanaco, this is uh, hosted, in, uh, hosted in Hugging Face. So it's... Uh, very easy to use here and very optimized uh, a version of the data set and uh, because hugging phase the data sets are using apache arrow format and uh, the otherwise batch size i'm uh, keeping it at four and gradient accumulation step also keeping it at four so yeah only few lines of code and you can uh, you can then completely fine tune this data set with llama 27b model